Hello once again, my friends. It is Mimikan as always, and we are once again in Elite Dangerous. Right now, super cruising through. Uh, where are we? LP98, TAC132. Um, that is an anarchy system, just to jump away from your starter system. Um, and I am currently in a hauler, not your basic sidewinder. Been uh, doing some space trucking. And figured I'd. Uh, I have the video for kind of pr tips on how to properly haul and so I thought I would do a little bit of follow-up for how to exactly navigate properly um, that is a big part of space trucking uh, and just flying in general so here we go as you can see I'm coming up on Anahit that is actually where Freeport is based so I will lock that in real quick um, I think I just I just screwed that up Oh, it's locked. Okay, cool. All right, so I thought I'd go through a bit of the HUD interface options. Um, can be kind of tricky to, to learn. Some of it's not as intuitive as I would uh, prefer for you know beginners and whatnot. But anyways, um, start off. Obviously, you have your navigation. This is where you can easily flip through whether you want to uh, go in system or if you want to jump with your hyperdrive to a different system, you can lock and engage your hyperdrive. Um, and, ooh, sorry about that. Here we have an unidentified signal source. Awesome. So here, I will demonstrate a few things. Let me back up and do it so I have a bit of time to talk. But first of all, I'm going to lock on to that. So you have to lock on to things in order to jump out properly. And... As you can see, um, in the bottom right-hand corner, you have your speed gauge, which right now I'm at 5, 6 C. And above that, you have what looks like a little target reticle. Well, with my target locked onto that unidentified signal source, as you can see, my locked target is now in the middle of the reticle. That is going to be the simplest and easiest way for you to find whatever your current target is. Now, it seems a little less intuitive. You'd think it would be on your scope, which is that little map in the, the middle with uh, pings going out, where you you know, you know can find your targets when you're fighting things, um, and you can find them in relation to yourself. Um, but your currently selected target is actually on that little dial to the right of it all. So it will help you, for example, um, you don't have you know arrows on your immediate HUD where your mouse like right here it that arrow will pop up that, that arrow will pop up when I am moving my ship adjusting the pitch and whatnot um, but it will you know you don't have any arrows for your target you don't have any arrows for nearby celestials or anything they keep it very clean very simple on the one hand I do appreciate that um, on the other hand it was a little less intuitive to figure out okay well where is my current you know if I'm jumping to another system I'm having to spin in circles with my ship and figure out where the heck that stupid circle to jump to is because you have to line up obviously now once you figure that out it seems like duh you're an idiot that you should have noticed that instead of it just being some random dial but you know for those of who you for those of you for those of you who might not be as uh, accustomed to to space sims or just in uh, accustomed to elite in particular that might not be as readily obvious um, now underneath that you see my speed gauge right now I'm only going 30 kilometers a second in uh, super cruise so I'm not really gonna get anywhere all that quickly considering I'm 86 light seconds away from that unidentified signal source not a big deal um, so we're gonna we're gonna spool up our drive a little bit but we're going to keep it inside that blue highlighted area now, that might seem like just some arbitrary highlights, but in actuality, that is going to be your sweet spot for cruising around. Um, when you lock onto a target, it will actually adjust into the speed that will be best for you to get to your target and to be able to stop in time to safely exit from your super cruise. Now, it's not an autopilot. You're not gonna be able to let the computer just jump you out um, and it will keep boosting you past if you do not jump out yourself. So don't think you can just AFK and, uh, and let the, the computer sort it out for you. 
but uh, it does automatically slow you down if you've ever jumped into Super Cruise and noticed, well, you know, this doesn't seem like Newtonian physics. I keep pushing my throttle up and it keeps dragging me back down. But that's for this reason. It is actually trying to adjust that speed for you so that by the time, you know, you're still 10 clicks out, well, it has you down to a click a second because it knows by the time you get down to the thousand meters or one kilometer, just under one kilometer uh, away from the target, that's when you can safely jump out. That's a tiny window, uh, which is kind of annoying and to me seems rather arbitrary for a design perspective. Ah, here we go. Right now, I am currently hunting gold. So here is, here's hoping, here's hoping. What do we got? Explosives. That's eh, not terrible. I mean, they're not gonna, you know, net me near as much as gold, but they do have a decent price uh, on the black market. So let's go ahead and pop out our, uh, let's see. Did I, did I do it? No, my cargo scoop. I remapped it and completely forget what uh, which one it is but that's actually because I've shut off a lot of my modules to deal with my heat signature the less heat you have the less obvious you will show up on people's scanners and you can run completely silently as well on top of that so we just opened up our, our cargo scan uh, uh, cargo scoop rather so maybe I didn't yep I did have it mapped properly great all right uh, and the reason you want to run silently, is even even when there's nobody on your your scope, is because a lot of times they might appear on your scope when you're in the middle of scooping. You're very you're moving very slowly. You're trying not to blow up the, the explosives or the gold or whatever is in the space, uh, and they will jump you. You're very vulnerable, and uh, running silently generates heat. So what you want to do is actually turn off as much as you can. I need the cargo hatch. Uh, I want to be able to jump immediately if I can. Um, I can take off my heat sink. I don't have any guns. Uh, I'm just in a hauler. I didn't want to mount anything because really I'm not going to be able to fight anything effectively. So what's the point of wasting the credits? But uh, I want to keep the sensor sweep just in case somebody hops in. Obviously I need the cargo hatch in order to operate. Uh, life support. I'd like to keep breathing. Thank you very much. So let's go ahead and line her up and see about getting some loot. Now, uh, even though I'm picking this up in the middle of nowhere, nobody's even around to see me doing this, it is still considered stolen. It is still illegal to do this. Whatever reason, I, d I don't know the rationale behind it, but um, at this point, I'm not really going to fight it. I'm Obviously, you can see it's yelling at me because I'm going way too fast to pick up those explosives. They will, it will destroy the canister that it's in if I try to pick it up going too fast. And that's where that blue highlight comes in again on your speed gauge. Um, but when you're a kilometer away, you have plenty of time to slow back down and uh, line it up. Snatch up that free, free profit. Oh, it sounds like somebody's, okay, there we go. Almost looked like it was about to hit my ship. Once let's line up our second one. As you can see, I have 1% of heat, so that is frosting up the place, no problem. I, I prefer that. Um, so continuing with the HUD, or the, the just your general panel layout, uh, next to my speed gauge is obviously my ship's integrity. I have no shields because I turned those off. 99% hull because I overheated and damaged a little bit. Um, and then next to that, you have your power distribution. I'll even that out real quick. But that is your ability to decide which of your power system or which of your systems needs the most power at the time. So if you, for example, need to go faster, obviously the engines. If you want to recharge your ship's uh, shields faster, you're going to go into the system, which is the left arrow key um, by default. And then, of course, your weapons. Weapons, uh, if you have lasers, for example, will allow you to line up the next one. Will allow you to recharge your weapons faster. Um, you know, when you have those crappy standard lasers, they tend to to start lowering their rate of fire pretty quickly. Uh, so that'll help you out. And then, if you just have an all-around balance, you don't have to really worry about too much. Uh, 
Uh, and I'm dead on top of this thing, so I have to figure out where exactly it is in relation to myself. But uh, next to all of that, there we go, awesome. 81 meters, nice. Uh, next to all that, you see what looks kind of like an audio wave bouncing around. And that is actually your heat signature. That is what you are showing to the rest of the, uh, the surrounding area. So that's what everybody else sees. Okay, chill out, chill out. Oh, I'm bouncing off stuff. All right, here we go. Um, and right now, it's it's not too crazy. It's it's pretty pretty tame. But you can get it even lower by hitting delete, and you are silent, silent running. running. Nobody can see you unless they get a visual on you, kind of a deal. But that does have the drawback of it generates heat like none other. You will overheat if you do not have uh, other systems turned off to compensate you will very quickly overheat um, so if you're going in for a, a silent run to shoot somebody as a pirate um, you want to be careful because your guns and everything are gonna you know generate even more heat that kind of thing so it's a very it's it's walking a tightrope in many situations I'm gonna turn it back off um, but right now obviously with all those modules turned off not a big deal I do not have to worry about heat whatsoever and so far as I have seen you can't freeze yourself out so do not worry when that uh, when that glass ice is over no big deal it's just letting you know that you have basically no heat on your ship but uh, you do, even with all your modules turned off, that is not technically silent running. It's very low signature, but it is not going to be... Oh, woo, need to pay attention. Don't lose my cargo. Um, low signature, but it is not completely silent unless you actually have silent running activated. Now, underneath that, you see the fuel, and I'm currently burning it at three a second. Three units of fuel a second. Not really a big deal, at least right now in beta. You don't burn through fuel too much unless you are consistently jumping into super cruise as well as hyperdrive. Those will, and depending on the, the uh, amount of light years you're jumping uh, from system to system, you could burn it very, very quickly. And there we go. We are good to go. Let's uh, close up shop. There you go. And uh, when you're... Cargo hatch is when you have anything like the landing gear or the cargo scoop down, you do get slowed down. So be aware that if you're trying to, to run away but have that down, that's really going to impede your progress, especially since you can't jump into Super Cruise with any of that uh, out. So we are good to go. We got some profit. We got, uh, yep, six fish, ten explosives. Pretty cool. Um, and we are actually currently in an, a system of anarchy, which means we can go straight to Freeport and sell them um, without Drive having charging. to smuggle anything. Um, there's no authorities here. Four, three, We're out in the black, one. buddy. But uh, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty decent. I mean, obviously you do have your currently selected target here on the left side of your scope. Right now it is just a general uh, celestial targeted target a new celestial uh, let us I let's go to Freeport and as you can see on my uh, just above my scope my target is coming around and I need to actually slow down a little bit uh, get right in that blue sweet spot all right and then I can basically just leave it alone and until it gets close I don't have to worry about it but uh, underneath the fuel gauge, you will see the mass lock, landing gear, and cargo scoop. That'll just give you a visual notification. Hey, this is still up. Um, when you're too close to a station or a uh, planet, that will leave you mass locked. It will leave you unable to jump into super cruise. And uh, it's kind of the larger version of being near ships. Ships will slow down your progress of jumping into, uh, into super cruise which you do also need to be worried about because not only does it take longer, but the longer that you are spooling up, of course, your jump drive is generating a lot of heat. So, um, you know, you have a bit of information that lets you know distance and speed on the left-hand side. Uh, it gives you just a general overview of where you are and what your target is, rather than just the visual representation. And here we go, the final approach into Freeport where all our dreams will come true. And 
And uh, I'm actually here for buying a Viper. I might see that in later videos. Or a Cobra. If I am if I decide to be patient, I might uh, wait for a Cobra. Because currently I do have uh, about 80,000 80, credits. Not a lot, but uh, let's hop out here. But a pretty decent amount. So, I hope that uh, gave you guys a little bit better of... Uh, a read on how to actually understand what's in front of you. Obviously up here you do have your comms, that's going to be where uh, NPCs and people will talk to you, that's where you can uh, confirm that you have uh, access to the station dock and that kind of a thing. And then your info panel will just let you know if frame shift isn't letting you on or, or that kind of a thing. But uh, then you have your navigation, you have of course just the galaxy map you can tab up to. You have your missions if you're in the... Obviously, I'm hunting things. Um, and I've been a bit of a bad boy. So I'm going to let those timers run out. Hopefully, not have to pay anything. And then, of course, contacts is how you contact things and request docking. But, right... Oops. Um, but, of course, I'm not close enough yet to be at si uh, under 7 o'clock. So I generally wait until about 6. So it makes me close enough. But let's, uh, let's see if we can find that... There it is, there's the door. That's why I like to, to use the visual representation to let me know if I'm in the right direction for docking door. But anyways, thanks for joining me guys. If you found that helpful, educational, or just interesting in some respect, feel free to leave a like and a comment, and uh, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in space once again. See you later. You've got some blood on your